Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are painting daffodils and it is day 22 of our 30 days of watercolor flowers. So let's get started. So first we're going to grab some orange and we're just going to kind of make a swipe here with our brush to create that middle trumpet. And then that middle section has these wavy uh, kind of petally shapes around the edge and then we're going to leave white space in the center. And that's really it for the center of the daffodil. Now we're going to pick up some yellow paint in a lighter wash and we're going to touch the tip of our brush to the orange so that the orange bleeds into the yellow petal just a little bit. Something you have to keep in mind when you're painting your petals is that daffodils have six petals and we're seeing this daffodil from the side meaning that the trumpet middle part is covering a petal and half of some petals on the other side. So we're creating very distinctive petals right here, three very distinctive petals, and then we're going to be creating the fourth and the fifth, like we can barely see them on the left and right sides, leaving us to believe that we're seeing half of the petal as it's curving around and that there's another petal behind that trumpet. Now we're going to paint a daffodil that we're looking at straight on. So that center trumpet thing that comes out of the middle of the daffodil, we are going to represent with an orange kind of wavy circle leaving white space in the center. For this daffodil, because we are looking at it straight on, we are going to see all six of the petals. So that means we need to space them out well enough that we don't have only five petals that fit or that we don't have an awkward gap where we need to add a seventh petal or half of a petal or something like that. So just keep in mind as you're going around that you're still doing those full daffodil-like petals, but that we are spacing it out well enough that we can get six around there and make it look nice and even. I'm using the body of my brush to press down to create these petals. So I'm kind of doing a two-stroke method that I use with leaves on these daffodil petals. So pressing down with my brush, using the body of my brush to create the fullest part of the petal, and then coming to the tip to create both ends of the petal. And then going on the other side of the petal to do the same thing and leave white space in the center. One of the reasons you want to leave white space in the middle when you're painting things like petals or leaves is because it really helps to give the illusion that there's veining and detail and highlight within the petal or leaf and it just really helps in this loose abstract style to give definition and clarity to what it is you're painting. So this daffodil that I'm painting now is similar to the one we painted on the left where the center is pointing upward and we're not going to be seeing all of the petals as they curve around the flower. And I just wanted to show an example of one that's sticking straight up and again, making that big, beautiful center the star of the show. So for the center of the daffodil, they're a little bit dark on the brown side, um, and I added these little dots into the center to illustrate that, but I also wanted to keep a lot of white space, especially between the brown and the orange, so that we could see the difference and it didn't just get jumbled together. So now we get to start with the greenery and I'm using a nice, really bright green, using my brush to make thicker strokes for the stems and then making these nice long leaves with my brush that are very similar to tulip leaves. And for this flower that is on the left here, I'm curving the stem a little bit, bringing some leaves up at the bottom, nice long leaf here with my brush. And I'm using that technique I was telling you about earlier where I'm putting light pressure on the tip of my brush at the beginning of the leaf, putting a lot of pressure towards the middle of the leaf, dragging it all the way down, and then lifting up on pressure towards the end to create the point of the leaf where it meets the stem. I'm also going to be painting a leaf that comes up into the right side of the painting and so because there are petals I'm working around, I'm making sure that I get the right thickness of the leaf towards the middle of the leaf behind those petals as I come up to create that so that it gives the right illusion that I'm looking for which is a leaf that's coming just straight up behind that daffodil. And now since we are almost done, I am going through with a little bit of a darker pigment of green and adding some details to the greenery, shadows and 
uh, dimension down in the stems and in the leaves just to give some added contrast and really make the painting pop. And now that we have finished painting our daffodil, I'm adding it to my watercolor flower guide. And I just think this is just such a fun flower that everybody should know how to paint. Thank you so much for being here today while we painted daffodils. I always enjoy spending time painting with you and I hope you enjoyed this as well. I will see you all tomorrow for day 23. Bye.